So Denise, two days to becoming an undergraduate. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. Me too. I'm hoping you'll get lost on campus for a few days. <laughs> you know, some people never graduate because they can't find their classes. Hmm. Is that what you're going to tell Dad when you get your results? Ha! Hey, I remember my university days in Bombay. Once, there was this guy who just ran through the college canteen naked. He was protesting the rising prices of ghee. I'm sure things will be different for you in NUS. Uh, what's not useful for coming back at 4 p.m. tomorrow? Ronnie, make sure you pick them up at the airport. Why can't they take a taxi like everybody else? Uh, well, taxis aren't that expensive. Are yeah, you alright? I told you not to put so much MSG in the Kailan. <laughs> it's not the Kailan. Michael, he's coming home tomorrow. For oh, good. Alright. <laughs> oh, Daisy, I'm so sorry. I know. Michael's plane arrives around the same time as Auntie Rosna and Uncle Yusuf. I'll pick them up. Maybe then there won't be any room for Michael. <laughs> You should have seen Miss Stewart as uncle. She was like unbelievable. Totally gorgeous. And so thoughtful. And obedient. She kept making sure I was okay. Like, you know, um, did you have enough to eat? Would you like more wine? Would you like a pillow? Would, Would you, you please shut up? <laughs> Can I sit there? So, Auntie Rosna, how was your trip to London? Kendula. <laughs> Johari must have been so glad to see his parents, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Yusuf? Yeah? How was London? Uh, uh, as Rosna. <laughs> Want to know about my flight? Want to know about my flight? Want to know about okay, my flight? Okay, okay. How was your flight? Oh, now that you mention it, it was absolutely ace, sis. I met this amazing stewardess. What a board. I kept staring and I was just trying to get her measurements. I could tell she was crazy about me. She just didn't want to show it in front of the other passengers. You know how that works. I wonder what's wrong with Auntie Rosna and Uncle Yusufa. I think they had a fight. I didn't notice anything. You are. You would notice a nuclear explosion unless it was wearing a mini skirt. <laughs> what's wrong with your back? No, it's a bit of a touch and go situation. I might hurt it if I carried those bags. Can't be too careful. Where's the new flatmate? I think she's not at home yet. She? Why didn't you tell me our new flatmate is a she? Oh, I didn't want you to drool all over my car. <laughs> so, what does she look like? Is she cute? Is she one of those sexy little voices? My Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> Hello. Debbie? Meet Michael, my brother. Enchanté. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> well, um, I'm absolutely starving. I haven't eaten all day. Oh, why not? I forgot my lunch. I thought it would have made me different. I didn't have time to eat it anyway. Why not? Well, I was chasing after hundreds of little boys. Huh? ECG jam. <laughs> hey. Strange. Where's my lunch? I thought I left it in the fridge. Michael. 
I'm hungry too, you know. You said you had four dinners on the plane. It's okay, it's okay. I, I think I have some apple pie as well. <laughs> Was it yours? <laughs> to him until he apologizes to me. Make him apologize lah. I make him. That's why I'm not talking. And he still doesn't know what he did wrong. Then why don't you tell him? Why should I tell him? He should know what. Then what are you going to do? Wait lah. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Okay lah. But don't tell anyone lah. The lecture's over. I was lost, you see. This place is more confusing than Suntec City. Shh! I missed the whole class? No, there's still the homework. Oh, 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 oh. Ago. And already it's rung 37 times. <laughs> I say hello. And they hang up. <laughs> hello. <laughs> zing, zing. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Why don't they just say something? This reminds me of a story. <laughs> <laughs> Long. Want to go for coffee? Hey, you slow. What's wrong with your hair? Ouch! Oh. <laughs> the door slam on it. Oh no, does Auntie Rosna know? Yeah. She's the one who slammed the door. <laughs> Why? If I knew, I wouldn't be here right now. Hey, <laughs> how come you are still here? Don't you have to be at work at eight? Yeah, I would be glad. I can't find my alarm clock. Don't worry, it'll turn up. You gonna turn this thing off? I should. It's mine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, um. By the way, I've got an important job interview this afternoon. Could you hand my shirt? <laughs> Debs, please, iron it. It's not my fault. I'm a man. I don't know how to iron. You wouldn't want me to go for my interview in a wrinkled shirt. Thanks, Debs. <laughs> Since the interview is in the afternoon, I might as well sleep till noon. Oh, can I borrow your clock? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dolly. Uh, can I uh, watch TV? Sure, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. 
นี้เสียโฟน It's not my phone and I'm not answering it. Why not? Because they'll just hang up on me again. I'm not playing a stupid little game anymore. So how? So irritating. Just turn it off, l a No, 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 no. Then the owner can't reach me, no. Oh, no, they reach you if you don't answer. Well, it's not like it's a matter of life and death. Mm. Hello. No, 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 no! Wait, wait, no! Hang up again, is it? Yeah. After she said she was going to kill herself. Now the phone is dead. Waiting up for me? How sweet, Michael. Do you have any idea what you did this morning? No. Besides leaving your smelly socks on the kitchen counter, the dirty plates out for the ants, and the fridge door wide open. I forgot to water the plants. No, the plants you killed before you went to Australia. Oh, that's right. This morning, you almost made Debbie lose her job. No way. Way. The first day you came, you went into a room, took all the magazines, and cut out all the pictures of the models. <laughs> the second day, you sat here and ate all her mangoes, and then took the seeds and the skins and put them in the fridge. <laughs> and last night, you went in to take our alarm clock. You tried on a nurse's cap, and dropped her uniform on the floor, and stamped all over it. <laughs> She went to work with footprints all over her back. She must have looked funny. Exactly. <laughs> And you had the nerve to ask her to iron your shirt. I said please. <laughs> She went to work an hour late. Her boss almost fired her, you know. He's a creep. <laughs> no, you are the creep. <laughs> Do you know what will happen if Debbie loses her job? She'll have to find another job. <laughs> no, you'll have to find another place to live in. But I'm your brother. Don't remind me. <laughs> Daisy, Daisy, isn't blood thicker than water? Why don't I crack open your head and find out? <laughs> Yusuf, that Yusuf so bodo. Until now, he still doesn't know what he's done wrong, and that's what makes my blood boils. Oh, Yusuf, he already has a back ache sitting on my sofa the whole night. He can sit there the whole week for all I care. Ah, take care. He cannot watch his TV. Yusuf has been holding on to the remote control and eating all t h i c s cookies. He still got time to eat cookies and watch TV? Ah, uh? oh, alive? Ah, uh? he, he's not worried that I'm angry. He's very worried. That's why he says he doesn't dare to go home until you go to sleep. He says, ah, uh, your face was always black or red, like charcoal burning in a barbecue pit. I'm going to barbecue him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Yusuf, you're still here. Yeah, Rosna's face is so black. I only go home when the lights are off, so I, I can see her black face. Hey, Rosna's still angry. Yeah, yeah la. But how can I watch TV if Yusuf is always on my sofa? Speak to Rosna, la. I've already spoken to Rosna. Now Yusuf must speak. How to speak if he doesn't know what to say? No la. Daisy, I'm being abused. Yeah. Daisy and Debbie are being mean to me. What do they do now? They're taking sides against me. My own sister ganging up with a stranger against me. Me, her own flesh and blood. And yesterday. Debbie tried to make me do the ironing. Daisy told me that you asked Debbie to iron your shirt. Uh, but you didn't. And 
I had to wear a crumpled shirt. <laughs> hey, how come nobody's any sympathy for me? Maybe you should learn how to iron more. But for auntie, it's not fair. All men are very selfish. Hey, don't include me in this. Uh. Never think about anyone but themselves. We women have to cook and clean. You can't do anything. That's not true. Now, Uncle Yusuf and I, we can um, uh, do the dishes, wash the floor, eat the whole can of cookies. Mm. <laughs> we can bake. No, 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 no. You can. Okay. I will. Oh, hi, Goyusa. Hi. Did anyone call for me? No. Oh, I wish someone would call about the handphone. I really need to find that girl. I'm so worried. She must be mentally unstable. But I need to find her before she... before she kills herself. Or I'll be responsible. Whoa. thrilled to death. I mean, I, I'm really glad that you called. Uh, hi, hi, my name is Denise, and I've been dying to... I mean, I've been really wanting to talk to you. Yes, yes but the headphone that you died, I, it, it ran out, and, and I... Really? You need me right now? Okay, okay, just hang in there. Yeah, I... I, I, I wait, don't hang, don't hang. Just stay there. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right over. <laughs> Cassandra, don't do it! Because you're all I have you! It's not worth it! Cassandra? No? <laughs> Sorry. Denise? Cassandra? Denise? Um, um, Cassandra? Denise? I feel just terrible. I. No. I. I never should have said that to you. Um, I mean. I can't help it. If you like Andrew and Andrew likes you, and you're going out, I don't have to stop this first. Wait, 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 wait. Who's Andrew? Huh? I haven't you been seeing him? Isn't that why you were answering his headphone? No, I found it in my thought class. Well, actually, after the class was taught. So, you've never met Andrew? No. But, uh, he obviously makes you very upset. Yeah, he, he's my boyfriend. Oh, and he's seeing other people? We have an open relationship. He gets to see other people. It, I get to see other people too. Oh. So you're seeing other people too? No. Oh. Well, <clears throat> if you're happy with it. Happy? Who said I'm happy? I'm miserable. Otherwise, I wanted to say I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to ruin a day with you. Um, I'm I'm sorry, Cassandra. I may be intruding here, but uh, why go along with it if you're unhappy with it? Because I'm very understanding. Uh, well, well, why don't you try? being less understanding and happier. You know, I never thought of that before. But I think I'm beginning to understand. Well, here's Andrew's handphone. I never like the color anyway. <laughs> Hi, Peg. Want to 
go for coffee? Ah, uh, no thanks. I just sat down. Now you never want to go for coffee with me anymore. Last time I, I only went... went for coffee with you three times today, what? <laughs> okay, me like that, lah. <laughs> Dolly, if you don't help get Yusuf out of our house and back to his house, I don't know. <laughs> He's your friend, what? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Dolly, help him out a little. Okay, okay, lah. Help me, yeah. <laughs> Okay, Yusuf? Ah. Uh. <coughs> Think very carefully. When you were with Rosna in London, did you fight? No. Were you happy? Yes. Then you went to the airport in a taxi. Did you fight? No. Were you happy? No. London taxi very expensive. <laughs> then you were on the plane. Did you fight? No. Were you happy? Yes. Oh, think very, very carefully. What do you do? I was watching Mr. Bean. Very funny. <laughs> then I went to the toilet. Very small. And then the students came, gave me my dinner. Very happy. Pineapple tarts, anyone? Ah, I had pineapple tarts. I had two pineapple tarts. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh, 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 oh uh, I've got to go. Bye. Mmm, very good, my girl. Where do you get them? I baked them myself. <laughs> Yourself? Sheila, Dolly, men are uh, so bad. Yeah. <laughs> you ladies should have more faith in us. Hello. Oh, hello, Daddy. Michael, did you take my pineapple top? <laughs> I'm so sorry I ate your pineapple tart on the plane. Oh, you remembered. Did Dolly tell you? Uh, no, 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 no. I remembered all by myself. You see, I got you some from your favorite shop. Hey, Makcik Katija Tasty Shop. I was busy watching Mr. Bean. I didn't notice I ate your pineapple tart. Yeah. First, I ate the fruit salad. Then I drank the orange juice. Then I ate the chicken and the rice. Then I ate the bread and butter. All along, I was saving the pineapple tarts till last. I'm sorry, Sayang. I'm sorry. It will never happen again. Well, I forgive you. Come, let me try one. You so. Mediacorp Studios production for Channel 5.